this small introduction to let you know how to use the portainer uh, template file so first we have to install portainer of course so we grab uh, the docker command from the website Once passed, you can go to this link and enter Portainer. Then go to Settings and enter the link I will leave in the description of the template I made. Click on raw file, copy it and paste it there. Now normally you can see these templates and they are almost re all ready to use. First let's try to install superset. Give it a name and make sure to select a port. And please do not select a, a port that is uh, commonly used. Let's try to install another container. Metabase for example has a common port so we have to change it. Let's install Grafana too and change the port to Now let's install some databases, for example Postgres. Give it a name, a user and a password and we choose the port. There is also a volume to persistent data but uh, we will not talk about this in this video. Now we need to install our ClickHouse for Data Warehouse. And you can see how easy it is to set up your development environment for data pipelines and data transformations. We already have three visualization tools and two databases running. And after this we will install Airbyte, but uh, Airbyte is uh, a bit different. We have to clone the repository and then docker compose from there. Make sure to run it as sudo. It may take a while to start. So now we have Airbyte running, but we need to check our user and password. You can find them in uh, the docker compose or .eng files.
So if they are in curly braces, it's uh, sure that they are in the .env environment. And quick tip, we can grab with the auth, so we can find both. Now we connected our database to the beaver. have some uh, simple data to work with it I will leave these two files in the github repository now we see that the data is loaded and we can start transporting the data to our data warehouse Let's connect our Postgres to Airbyte. Well, we can't uh, say localhost here because uh, it will take the container's uh, localhost. So we can take the IP of the virtual machine I have. Now let's create our destination. So we create a new database. And now let's use it here. For the default uh, user and password, it's actually default and uh, empty password. Once both are tested, it will scan the schema of your SUS database.
Now we can see that we can select the tables that we want to send to our destination. By default, I will check them all and set up our connection. Now we can see it start syncing and it actually uses dbt. Once it's completed, we can see our data in uh, the Beaver. And it actually creates two tables for each table. You will see one table is uh, JSON data and the other one is normalized data. Let's try to add a new value and resync again to see if Airbytes resends all the data or increments it. And we can see that there is no data redundancy at all. But there is actually other ways to send data from Postgres to uh, ClickHouse, and it's already integrated with ClickHouse, and it's the Postgres engine. There's a lot of engines like Kafka and MySQL, and maybe I will talk about this later.